My name is Wele Tumatlang. Ever since I decided to learn more about cars and discovered the Subaru Impreza WRX STI, my life changed forever. Cars and car culture became a big part of who I am as a person. The idea of modifying engines and customizing body kits became an avenue for me to artistically express parts of my personality. For 15 years, it was my dream to one day genuinely live in this world. The day I bought Zangetsu marked the beginning of my dreams merging with my reality. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets Live with every breath, see my message start to spread And I had so many dreams, then you hit your teens Life ain't really what it seems, try to find out what it means Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it steering wheel to a 2006 Subaru WRX steering wheel. The only reason why I want to do that, well there's two reasons. Um, the one that I currently have is a Momo steering wheel. So this is my standard WRX Momo steering wheel. As you can see it has four spokes instead of three. I much prefer a three spoke configuration personally. Um, I think it just looks better, it, it makes the steering wheel itself look a bit more um, agile and all that stuff and only fitting, seeing as how it's an agile car, um, that you would have a steering wheel whose looks complement that. So that would be the first thing. The second is that I want to get a black TRD uh, gear shift knob um, that I will be putting up either here or here on the screen, depending on where there's more space. Um, very simple gear knob. Um, I say I chose TRD uh, be before you guys get at me in the comments I chose TRD because it stands for Toyota Racing Developments and I used to have a Toyota Corolla Twin Cam uh, way before I had Zangetsu uh, it was one of my favorite cars I kind of built that one myself as well and um, recently Toyota bought Subaru um, which is how we got the 86 
which is also a classic Toyota from back in the day. Um, it, it's a remake of the original um, Toyota Corolla GT AE86, which is the car that is featured prominently as the hero car in the anime series called Initial D. A big part of my her my heritage as a petrol head as well. So that's number two. Number three, I'm also looking to get a double DIN radio that has Android CarPlay in it, simply because I use Android. I know Apple CarPlay is the more um, is the more popular thing, uh, but that's more mainly for iPhone and iPad users. I myself as a, am an Android user. I don't see myself changing, or at least I don't see a, a specific reason for me to want to change anytime soon. Uh, so for the foreseeable future, I think I'll definitely still be an Android user. So I want to do that because I want to stop having to look at my phone whenever I have to use navigation and leave that open for calls and such and such. So yeah, um, I'll be getting that. The particular model that I'm looking to get that I saw on AutoStyle is the Sony XAV X100 which also has Android CarPlay on it and that's going to be about 4,900 oh yeah just by the way the 2006 WRX steering wheel is also going to be 2,600 and the, um, the TRD gear shift knob is going to be 150 now the yeah so that's 4,900 for the Sony XAV X100 the next thing I want to get is um, I'm going to be changing my seats now this is a bit bittersweet because I've always loved the uh, standard black Recaro uh, WRX bucket seats simply because I like the idea that you know it's the Subarus are the kind of car where things like bucket seats are things you don't have to buy aftermarket you know um, they come standard like that they give you that appeal and feel and whatever else comes with having a bucket seat that you would get from having, having to buy an aftermarket one but unfortunately I think Papa Ivan I love you this is no disrespect to you but I think the previous owner of this car Papa Ivan um, he being a slightly portly fellow may have worn out the bolsters to a point where they're a little wider wider than they are standard um, I realized this when one day I sat in the passenger seat and I could feel that it was hugging me a lot more than uh, the driver's seat does so it's for that reason and that reason alone that I want to switch up the seats I haven't gotten a price for those yet but I do want to get the 2012 uh, Subaru WRX seats uh, because they're also mainly black and um, they have red WRX stitching on the top of the seat so I think that's a nice mean and subtle look for the interior of the car I'm still not 100% sure whether I am actually going to go 18 or not because I am also going to be getting some lowering springs which will actually make the width between the tire and the fender a lot smaller so the only reason why I want to get 18 inches is because of that width but we will not yet open the lowering springs the jury is still out on this but the 18 inch worms do look quite good so that's the next thing that I'm considering and the price on those are 2000 700 oh sorry no those are the tires the rims themselves are 8500 and um yeah so that's what i'm considering getting the tires each tire is 2780 so i'll be i'll be working on a grand total in just a moment i'm, I'm going to tell you that at the end of the list and then i also want to get a set of sti side skirts just to complement the look because right now it's looking rather unbalanced so um, yeah, a nice set of uh, side skirts should, should solve that problem quite nicely. Uh, guys, please forgive me for how, how unsightly Sanketsu is looking right now. If you look at over there, there's a whole lot of grease spots from when Ty and I were changing the brakes. I haven't gotten a chance to wash the car since then. Uh, please forgive me, I'm a very bad Scooby owner. But I will be getting through that. You guys know I love this car. You guys know she's going to be washed soon. And uh, so that concludes the exterior. We are now moving on to the engine. Okay, so here we are at the heart of the beast. So, <clears throat> fortunately, I don't have to do as much here as I originally thought. Because as I was doing research, I found out that when modifying an engine, especially Subaru engines, it's always worth your while to reinforce the engine's internals so that it can take and handle well all of the extra power that you're going to be churning out of it 
also um, I found out about things like forged pistons, forged crankshafts. Apparently those are different types of crankshafts and pistons that won't buckle under pressure. But after having a chat with Grant from Grant Hay, shout out to you guys. Um, he told me that all I really need to do to get it up to STI level of power is to get a VF43 turbo, which is the same turbo found in STIs, as well as a downpipe and a full exhaust system, which both of which they can actually provide for me and install for only 15,000. So this was a big relief for me, as that's the only three things I need to do. Apparently, I don't even have to upgrade injectors uh, for the increased airflow, sorry, fuel flow, and. Um, the injectors, the, the standard WRX injectors can handle the extra boost of power just fine. Uh, apparently, I will also have to um, upgrade the fuel pump and things like that. I mean, these are things that I can do as an extra just to make sure that everything is upgraded and to ensure that there isn't any problem. But apparently, there won't be. And um, this is something I learned from an expert who tunes Jim Connor track cars on a regular basis. So I do trust his opinion. If you guys have anything different, maybe that you might know or want to say, let me know in the comments and we'll go from there. So that's pretty much it. I also want to get a dump valve which will be fitted um, in this area. Um, I saw an XL dump valve for about 1,500 online. So I will be getting that as soon as possible. And um, I will also be getting an air oil separator. Um, some people call it an oil catch can which will be sitting somewhere here next to the inner cooler. Um, so that, that about does it for the power mods on the engine so yeah that's about it guys my build that's my build list the grand total that i calculated uh comes up to about fifty thousand, including everything that i've mentioned so far so it's going to be a long process it's going to be a long and arduous journey <laughs> to get there uh but it only means one thing i need to make some extra money and um the good thing about that is that it's now going to push me and motivate me to actually get things going in the other parts of my career. Um, it's time to get more of those corporate comedy gigs. It's time to get back on stage. It's time to write more scripts and sell them. It's time to actually produce movies and be the filmmaker that I've always wanted to be. Uh, so it's basically time to get off my ass and start working. So that's going to be about it for me, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of my build list, of the video in general, of Zangetsu, of me. Um, if maybe you've got any other suggestions or comments to make on the build list, feel free to do so. I will, I will appreciate whatever input and feedback I get. Um, but yeah, that's going to now be the end of the video. Thank you for chilling with me, guys. I have been Z the Entertainer, aka Zwere Tumashangu. Uh, if you liked this video, please click on the thumbs up icon and leave me a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe to your boy and make sure you click on the bell icon so you are notified each and every time I drop new content on this here channel. As usual people, take care of each other, stay awesome, stay chasing your dreams to infinity and beyond. Oh yeah, I'm stable, oh yeah, no label, oh yeah, you know me.